Right then, level three construction technician students. Sites of Aing and Leveling Unit. Topic, Theodolites of Aing. Aim, reducing measured angles. Objective, develop an Excel spreadsheet to automatically reduce theodolite measured angles. So, we're looking to uh, develop a spreadsheet similar to the one shown on the screen to reduce and determine mean and horizontal vertical angles that were measured on a theodolite. Let's start by opening a blank sheet and formatting it as shown in the notes on the right hand side here. You can download this reduced angles formula text file by following the link in the description below and this will enable you to cut and paste the formulas similar to what I'll be doing and you'll also be able to read it at your own pace. It won't necessarily go too fast. In the description below, you'll also find other information that you might find useful. To speed things up, I'm swapping existing information to my new sheet. You, unfortunately, will need to work slowly through the reduced angle formula text file that you can download. And you'll have to work through this cell by cell so you can better understand how this complicated spreadsheet works. Make sure that when you start, you start in cell B6. The top five rows of the sheet are being reserved for the administration details that you can type in, similar to that shown on the startup sheet. As I work through, I grey out some of the uh, text on my sheet. I can just about read it. But actually, I don't want it to, de to distract from the actual calculated and formulas and results. So the grayed out sections and the merged cells in the center of the screen. I'm going to work on those cells, as you'll see. The formulas will work on those cells. But the, the actual values are not as important to me. Some expert spreadsheet users will hide those cells altogether. I don't necessarily want to hide them at this stage because if something goes wrong, I want to be able to see what those values are so I can get a feel for if those angles are being converted correctly. What they're generally doing is they're converted degrees, minutes and seconds into decimal degrees. It's easier to calculate on decimal degrees than it is on degrees, minutes and seconds. But you'll want to write degrees, minutes and seconds in your uh, assignment work or on your uh, on your report that you might be producing for a client. As you just saw on the screen then, don't forget to save this spreadsheet regularly, particularly now because we've completed the horizontal angles and we're just about to start on developing the calculations for the vertical angles. Again, I'm cutting and pasting you can work through looking for the cell in square brackets and entering the information that precedes it or comes after it. The formulas are there. You'll be able to cut and paste those formulas from the text file as I've said earlier. So, we're getting to kind of to the end here. We've got the uh, all the information in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to type in some example notes that I know actually work. So I'm going to use the booking sheet from exercise PA257 that we used in the Organizer 2 land pack demonstration video. Video 1, Traverse. Because we have used this sheet before, we will be able to check the accuracy of this very specialized booking sheet to see that it is giving us the correct results before we publish any results from it. Remember, you can download the notes and remember to save things regularly. So, let me find the uh, booking sheets that we used in uh, the Organizer 2 Land Pack demonstration video and I'll just put it to the right here so I can read them and still work on this sheet. So I'm starting at uh, 
let's uh, let's use a different um, angle than we've got in the screen. So I'm going to go to C, and from C I cite D and J. So D goes in the station, and the sightings are D and J. So the first left angle for D, 0, 0, 0. And then the first ang right angle for D, 1795940. You'll see the uh, decimal values changing in the grayed out cells below. The first left angle facing J, C to J, 1572240. And the first right angle, C to J, 337-2320 gives me a reduced angle of 157-2240 and a mean angle of 157-2310. That shows me that the spreadsheet and the uh, booking sheet correlate, so I know that the, uh, the spreadsheet's working and the values in it are working. Let's do the same for the uh, vertical angles. Again, we'll be starting at C. So now we're using the, uh, the same station. Let me just uh, get this set up here on the right-hand side. So I'm citing C to J, and I've got 358.20 for my face left reading, 181.41.30 for my face right reading. That gives me a mean angle of minus one degree, 40, 50. Minus one degree means it's a, uh, a downhill slope. A positive re result would give me an uphill slope. So everything's working. You can now copy those cells down your sheet to look a bit like the, uh, the sheet at the beginning of this video. You can use colours in the same way. That's about it for now. I look forward to seeing your results. Don't forget to post them to me. And uh, basically, good luck.